Hey guys, Carlos here. And uh, today I'm be showing you guys how to paracord your rock at Compirocha. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing here is we're gonna need to remove our skates. And uh, in order to do that, we need to have a heat gun. So make sure you guys grab yourself your heat gun. And uh, before you guys even apply any heat or anything, place your thumb over the sensor as the heat gun can definitely mess up the sensor there. Also, you don't want to you don't want to put the heat gun too close to the mouse as it could cause warping issues on it. So have the heat gun probably a, a good six, maybe eight inches <clears throat> uh, away from the actual mouse feet and the actual mouse. Next, once you apply enough heat, you're going to want to get something flat. And as you see me doing here, just quickly go around the mouse gates and try to basically lift it off a little bit but don't try to bend the mouse gates too much and if you guys are having trouble like i did here go ahead and apply a little bit more heat again don't burn yourself or don't apply too much heat or don't get it too close you know as uh as you don't want to warp the actual mouse and then as you can see here i go around the edge and i can lift up the heat uh the actual feet with no problem there so go ahead and uh do that all around the edges i found that doing that actually helps in removing the skates uh, a lot faster so plus you don't want to uh, bend them or cause any uh how do you call it uh wrinkles too much around the skates as you know if you guys want to reuse the same skates like i did here yeah just try not to bend the actual skates too much because then you won't be able to use them and then it just it'll just feel weird we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the bottom skate. Again, apply enough heat so that the actual glue or yeah, I guess like the glue from the skate can come off quite easily. Go around the edge with something flat. You can use like a flathead, uh, a flathead screwdriver too, but just be careful. You don't wanna damage the, the actual skates. Now when, now when you wanna pull the skates, go ahead and don't pull it all the way up, kinda of pull it towards you like uh like in an angle because again you don't want to bend the actual skates so once you got the skates down you're gonna want to remove the four screws uh that you should clearly see <laughs> and you're gonna want to go ahead and get a small phillips head screwdriver for that so just go ahead and um unscrew it and then once you unscrew it gently from the front of the actual cable gently wiggle it out don't pull anything because inside the mouse there is cables and you don't want to mess those up so Go ahead and just wiggle it out and you should be good. Now, once you see this here, um, I don't know what that cable connects to, like, as in like, I don't know like what that is, but I tried to remove it and I just couldn't. So if you can remove it, go ahead and do so. But if you can't, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Um, you can still paracord your mouse without, you know, uh, with that cable being attached to the actual uh, PCB there. Because uh, the paracord or where the cables connect is actually in the front, which is super convenient. <laughs> So go ahead and uh, remove that one out there. You can just uh, wiggle it out. It'll come out pretty easily. And then you're going to want to measure your actual paracord here. So go ahead and get your paracord and measure where you, where the actual, where the black heat shrink is going to go to. For some reason, this paracord came with two uh, attached. You see there, I only used one. I don't know why they, they added two there. I, I really don't know. And just go ahead and uh, apply heat. Try not to burn your fingers because, again, the heat gun is really, really hot when once you do this. So go ahead and just apply heat and get that in there. So the next step will basically be just to measure the clear heat shrink. And this one's not the trickiest part here. But if you see right there in the front, there's this little gap in there, right there where my finger is pointing to. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to put the clear heat shrink right there. So just go ahead and measure that out. And once you measure it out, go ahead and take it out and uh, apply the clear heat shrink where that little gap was in the front. Now, what I did here is I set it on my table and I heated up uh, the clear heat shrink just a little bit. So enough so that it could get small, but also not enough so that it won't stick because uh, I readjust it here. I would advise to do the same thing. So just readjust the clear heat shrink to where you know, you know where it's going to be at. Now, once you readjust it there, it should sit literally right in that gap where, where I previously mentioned, and it should sit pretty good. And now it won't go anywhere. So <laughs> yeah, and then just go ahead and start putting your skates, I mean, your screws back on, on the bottom of the feet. And before you put on the new skates, go ahead and get 80% uh, alcohol 
and just clean that clean uh like the glue that was left over from the skates from where you pull them out you're definitely gonna want to take that in because if you put either new skates or your old skates they're not gonna basically stick as well yeah so go ahead and remove that residue from the previous skates and either apply back your new skates or the old ones that you took out and if you're going to be applying the the old ones go ahead and rub the actual skate all the way down because you don't want any sharp corners to be sticking out or have the skate you know stick out more on one side than on the other go ahead and just flatten them out with your thumb at least that's what i did there and uh yeah there you guys go it's pretty simple pretty easy um now you guys pre-recorded your rock at compi ultra it's pretty nice fun little video pretty fast hope I hope I was able to. I hope I was able to help you guys there. Blah, can't talk. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Come here now, come here now, come here now, come here now, come here now.